Rock and Roll. America's favorite candy presents the Paul Winchell Jerry Maloney Show. Featuring Knucklehead Smith. Here they are now, Paul Winchell and... boys and girls. Are you kidding? Well, look at all the boys and girls we have here today. Well, boys and girls, welcome to the Jerry Mahoney Club, and welcome all of you Tootsie Rollers. Say, boys and girls, would you like to get together now and sing our theme song with us? Yeah! You would? Okay, Milk, let's go. Hooray! Hurrah! It's been show the And time for another meeting of the Jerry Mahoney Club. Oh, and he's here. No. <laughs> Say, look, boys and girls, whoever would like to have a little contest with us right now, bark like a dog. <laughs> uh, down, boy. Down, boy. <laughs> all right, I guess they all want to have a contest with us. So here's what we're going to do. Do you have those little cards, those numbers we gave you before the show started? Well, look, hold them up right into the camera so the boys and girls at home can get a chance to see them, too. Hold them up nice and high. Okay, Lynch, take over. All right, leave it to me. Now, in order to pick two youngsters fairly, I'm going to ask this lovely lady right here to pick out two numbers from the fishbowl. Now, in a loud, clear voice, dear, sing it right out. Tell us what two numbers you have selected. One and two. One and two? All right, who's got one? Right there, who's got two? All right, would you two come right down here? Just step right out of the peanut gallery. Come right over here in the contest area. There we go. What's your name, dear? Ann, what's your name, son? John Peterson. John? All right, John and Ann. Now, here's the way our contest works. Now, listen carefully because it's kind of simple. When I count three, see those two Tootsie Rolls down there? All you have to do is bend down, pick up a Tootsie Roll, and start to unwrap it. Get it completely unwrapped, throw away the wrapper, and take a bite out of the Tootsie Roll. Got it? Yep. Pretty simple? Oh, I've got to tell you one thing. Uh, Milt, will you bring him in? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do this with boxing gloves on. Okay, your game? Go. All right, Ann, would you put your hand right in here, sweetie? Here you go now. Put your hand right in there. Right no, the other hand. That's it. We won't worry about the laces. Just put them right down there, nice and tight, so the thumbs are in. Got this one here? Now put that one on there. Go. I'll take the numbers. Okay, all set? All right, wait a second. Got the next one on? Yeah. Now remember, when I count three, bend down, pick up the Tootsie Rolls, take the wrapper off completely, and take a bite. Okay? One, two, three. Go, go. hey! Take it off, quick, the whole wrapper. Come on. Don't use your teeth. Don't use your hands. Throw the wrapper away. The first one will bite it. There goes Anna. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Here's the winner right here. Ann is the winner. <laughs> Well, you are very close, Ann, but for being a champion Tootsie Roll unwrapper, we have a few prizes for you. Here you are, dear. I'll take the glove. You hold the Tootsie Roll, and you get a jumbo Tootsie Roll, and it's just filled with all kinds of delicious Tootsie Roll candies. And you also receive a copy of my new book, Ventriloquism for Fun and Profit, and it's filled with pictures, and it tells you how to become a ventriloquist. And if you want to become a ventriloquist, to go along with it, we have this little sample replica of the Jerry Mahoney doll. There you are, dear. And congratulations. And don't you go away. We have something for you, too. Here you are. You can go right back in your seat. And, John, we have a, a large box of Tootsie Rolls for you. We also have a copy of my new book, Ventriloquism for Fun and Profit. And you get a Knucklehead Smith doll. Because you were almost the winner. There you go, John. And congratulations to both of you. <laughs> oh, and look. The rest, of you, the rest of you don't feel badly because... Uh, Milton and I tell you that you'll get plenty of Tootsie Rolls and plenty of delicious Tootsie Roll candies just as soon as Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man gets here. Yeah. Where, have you seen Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man? No, I haven't seen Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man. Have you seen Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man? No, I haven't seen Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man. Oh, have you seen Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man? No, I haven't seen Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man. You haven't seen Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man. Freddy the Tootsie Roll Man! Why, you little Freddy! 
Hey, <laughs> <laughs> to have you <laughs> I know it was you all the time. Say, listen, you have something very important to tell the boys and girls. Ah, you? that I do indeed. Well, no, shall we leave them and go downstairs? Downstairs? Be my guest. Oh, my golly. Well, you know, boys and girls, last week we played a word game, and I'd like to try another game this week. Now, I'll ask the questions, and you give me the answers, okay? All right, now, first of all, what is the name of this famous song that has the word roll in the title? <laughs> roll out the pole, belt, roll out the barrel. You sure are fast today. That's right. Now, what game, what game is this that has the word roll in it? Hoop roll, that's exactly right. Now, look at Milton the Lug. Now, what delicious roll is he eating? Tootsie Roll! Absolutely right again. Milt is eating a Tootsie Roll, and no wonder he looks so happy. Because Tootsie Roll is a taste treat that everyone loves. Because it's so chocolatey. And so chewy. And so long-lasting. And it's still only five cents. And you can buy Tootsie Rolls anywhere candy is sold. At your neighborhood stores, candy counters, movies, vending machines, drug and five and ten cent stores. And just as soon as you take your very first bite, that Tootsie Roll taste will make you smack your lips. You know, Tootsie Roll is America's favorite candy. And say, tell mom and dad when they're at the supermarket or grocers to get the Tootsie Roll handy pack. You know, there are 22 junior-sized Tootsie Rolls in every single pack. And on the back of every pack, there's a game or puzzle for added fun. So roll down to the store and buy Tootsie Rolls. And always remember, boys and girls, nothing tastes better than a Tootsie Roll. Okay, now, okay, everybody simmer down, please. I now call the meeting of the Jerry Mahoney Club a two order. Oh! Oh! Oh, for heaven's sake! Oh, you smacked my engagement finger. Oh, I'm sorry, Nook. Let me kiss the boo-boo. Oh, does this mean we're married? Oh, Knucklehead, don't be silly. Listen, Knucklehead, this is a very, very important day for us. As a matter of fact, today is the day that Milton gets his last initiation. Oh, heavens to Betsy! I forget all about it. Get the pie, get the seltzer, get the whipped cream squirter. We'll give it to Milton to scrunch right in the kisser. <laughs> Funny! No, 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 please. Now, just take it easy. I already got a great initiation all figured out. Oh. Hey, there's somebody at the door. Oh, uh, what's the secret password? Daddy, what? Uh, that's the right word. Well, pull the cord. Let her come in. Okay, I'll pull the cord. <laughs> hey, kids, it's Mary Ellen. Hiya, Mary Ellen. Hiya, Colin. Oh, boy. Hiya, Mary Terrell. Hey, Nook. What are you doing? Oh, well, you see, Mary Ellen, this is the day that Milk takes his last initiation. And if he passes... Yes, sir. If he passes. <laughs> he'll be a full-fledged member of this club. Uh, if... He passes. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah, if he passes, if he passes, if he passes, if he passes. No, 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 no. All right, already. Oh. I'm going over to see Milt now. Okay, look, Mary Ellen, you better tell him to get ready. All right. <laughs> if he passes, if he passes, if he knucklehead. Yeah, passes. <laughs> hey, Milt. Yeah, Mary Ellen. Are you all ready for your last meeting? I sure am. How do I look? Well, not too good. <laughs> not too good? Yeah. I got new slacks for this and everything. I think I look wonderful. I'm going to ask Winch. Right. Hey, Winch. Paul? Hey, yeah. Paul. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi. Hi, Milk. Today's the day for my last initiation. Yeah? How do I look? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, you look all right. All right. But for your last initiation, you should look... You I'm all dolled up. I th hey, I think you're growing a few hairs here. No, I shaved this morning. No, so you need to shave, Milk. Oh, and look at those oh, fingernails. Oh, look at those fingernails. fingernails. Look, look Milk, Mary Ellen is a wonderful manicurist, and I'm a pretty good barber. You no, I don't up. need anything. God, There's come with us. We've explained the whole thing. I don't think you understand. Come with us. I don't need anything. We're all set. I tell you, sit right down here, and we'll take care of you immediately. All right, dude, just relax. I'm the barber. I'm the lady. I'm the very best in town. I'm sure that I'm fine. Last initiation, this is Milk Monkey Day. I'd like to shave him closer, but his nose gets in the way. Oh. <laughs> Wynn. Uh, yes, Milk. Could I have a drink? Sure. 
Uh, why, are you thirsty? No, I just want to see if my neck still holds water. I'm the barber. I'm lady. <laughs> and we'll make him look so, so grand. grand. We'll manicure and shave and then we'll do everything. And by the time we're ready, all the members will sing. Well, you'll get through with me. I'll look like chicken. I'll like king. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, see, that's a lovely pair of slacks you got there, man. That's what I said. See, I got brand new slacks just for the occasion. My brother made them for me, you know. Really? Yeah, he's a tailor. Gee, that's wonderful. How yeah. much did he charge you? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars? He's not a tailor, he's a robber. That's my brother, Robert Taylor. <laughs> Robert Taylor. <laughs> I'm the barber. Hi, my lady. <laughs> and we'll make him look real slick. Oh, I will use this razor cause it really is keen. And I will use the towel till his fingernails bleed. Oh, you will never see a head that looks like a queen. I'm the barber. I'm the lady. And I'm a baldy Oh, Milt, that was funny. Yeah, pretty funny. <laughs> My last initiation, and I'm bald headed. Oh, no, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't make you bald headed. You would. No, I, so you look what I put on. You still got your oh, hair. Oh, right. I didn't hit your fingers, Milt, honest. Hey, Milt, look, all huh? kidding around. Sincerely. All kidding around. I want, to, I want to wish you the very best of luck for your initiation <laughs> yeah. today. Wish? Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that Milton Wattle lad. You see what I did to him? Yeah, you made him a baldy. <laughs> I put <laughs> Chair, hi. Hey, oh. hiya, Freddy. Hey, listen, our special guest has arrived. Oh, fine. Would you bring her right in? Please? Right away. Okay. Remember, now every month we present the Winchell Mahoney Achievement Award to some boy or girl in the United States. Yes, boys and girls. To one of you who has done something for the good of others, we present our Achievement Award. But today, instead of giving our award to one youngster, we're going to give it to 24. And here comes the young lady who represents that group. Freddie, would you bring her in, please? Right here. Jerry, Paul, I'd like to meet Joyce Levy, Girl Scout from Flushing, Long Island. Well, how do you do, Joyce? Oh, it's so nice to have you here, Joyce. Oh, she touched me, she touched me. <laughs> Easy. Uh, Joyce, uh, officially, I'd like you to meet Jerry Mahoney. Hello, Jerry. Hello, dear. How old are you? Thirteen. Are you married? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Jerry, tell me, what do you like about the Girl Scouts? Oh, lots of things. But I like Girl Scout cookies. Cookies? Yes, sir. And this is the cutest cookie I ever saw. <laughs> I think Jerry kind of likes you, Judge. Well, boys and girls, we're presenting our Achievement Award today to the Girl Scout troop to which Joyce belongs. Intermediate Troop 4382 of Flushing, New York. And we want you to know why we're presenting this award, so... Joyce, would you please tell us your story? Well, five years ago, we adopted um, the Home for the Aged at Welfare Island, and the name has recently been changed to the Bird S. Kohler Memorial Hospital and Home. And what made you adopt uh, well, this particular home? Well, we adopted home? them because they didn't have any relatives or anyone um, at home, and we thought that we could cheer them up a little bit if we brought them presents. You mean these elderly folks? The elderly people there. Uh -huh. And um, each year, we go twice to um, the home at Easter time and at Thanksgiving time, we bring them presents like so once we brought some mittens for the um, wheelchair patients, uh -huh. and we brought um, candy and talcum powder and scented soap, and it sort of cheers them up and brings a little happiness to them, and the girls really enjoy doing it. In other words, you and the whole troop get as much fun and satisfaction as the happy hours yes. and the pleasure that you give to mm -hmm. these lonely elderly folks. Yes. Well, now, isn't that a wonderful thing that these Girl Scouts did, boys and girls? Huh? <laughs> Hey, Joyce, tell me, uh, are the other members of the troop here today with you? Yeah, they're all out there. Yeah? Well, let's see them. Turn the cameras around. They're sitting right out there in the audience. There they are, boys and girls. <laughs> this group of Girl Scouts is the group responsible for bringing a lot of happiness and a lot of pleasure to these lonely, elderly folks. I certainly think that was a wonderful thing that you all did. And now, Joyce, and to all the rest of you in the troop, for bringing cheer and kindness to those who were sick and lonely, for helping others with no thought of receiving any reward, and for living up to all the fine traditions of the Girl Scouts, we proudly present you with our Achievement Award. You there so you are, Joyce. Oh, you're welcome. And what do you think, Joyce? 
That is, you know what you're going to get. We're also going to give you 24 giant boxes of Tootsie Rolls, one for each member of the troop. And for each of your mothers, you're going to receive three pairs of beautiful Ipswich hosiery, fashioned right and long-wearing. And I know that she'll enjoy Ipswich hosiery. And now for troop outings, we have 12 famous beacon cameras in colors of red, green, and ivory in this complete Globetrotter kit. And for the troop, we also have, for the whole troop, and a complete set of the Encyclopedia Britannica Junior, the 15-volume home library for children published by the Encyclopedia Britannica. And also for the entire troop to share, we'd like to present you with six genuine Schwinn Starlet bicycles, complete with tank, electric horn, and all the wonderful features that make Schwinn America's favorite bicycle. And now, kids, let's all sing three cheers to this fine group of Girl Scouts. Three cheers to you. A wonderful thing those Girl Scouts did. Oh, they sure did. Gee, they were swell. They certainly were. You know, incidentally, boys and girls, this happens to be Girl Scout Week. Now, scouting is a wonderful adventure. You know, you'd have a lot of fun if you joined the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts. Well, you'd learn about wildlife and first aid and camping and uh, and Morse code. Morse code? I know all about the Morse code. You do? Sure. In fact, I even got my sender here. Your sender? Oh, the Morse code transmitter, huh? Yes, sir. Well, if you're so good at the Morse code, I'll give you a little message, and you see if you can take it down. Yes, sir. Okay, shoot. Here we go now. There. I got it. What does it say? <laughs> no, silly. No, I was only kidding. Why, that says, buy Tootsie Roll Fudge. That's exactly what it says. Buy Tootsie Roll Fudge. You know, that's a good message for everybody. Because, no kidding, boys and girls, Tootsie Roll Fudge is the best tasting fudge you can buy anywhere. Now, look at this five cent package of Tootsie Roll Fudge. Why, it contains six individually wrapped squares of fudge. And each square is so smooth and creamy that it melts right in your mouth. And you can get this wonderful tasting Tootsie Roll fudge in chocolate or vanilla anywhere the candy is sold. And get this. <laughs> oh, that says you can get Tootsie Roll fudge in a penny size, too. That's exactly what it says. And the penny size Tootsie Roll fudge is the same delicious, good tasting fudge that you get in the five cent package. And every piece of Tootsie Roll fudge is individually wrapped to keep it just as fresh and as clean and as flavorful as the moment it was made. You said it, Lynch. And kids, here's a little Tootsie Roll tip. You know, recently there's been a lot of fires started by kerosene heaters that were not, well, either they weren't used right or, or they were busted or something. Well, the fire department says that there's no danger if the kerosene heaters are in good shape and if they're used correctly. So kids, be kind of careful around them and, and tell your mom and dad to check your heater and to make sure that it's not in a place where it can start a fire. Oh, you're so right, Jerry. You do that, boys and girls, and you'll deserve Tootsie Roll fudge. And always remember... Nothing tastes better than Tootsie Roll fudge. <laughs> kids, kids, this is it. This is the day I take my last initiation, and if I pass, I'm going to be a full-fledged member. You think I'll pass, kids? Yeah! That's wonderful. Listen, I'm kind of nervous about it, because I don't want any more pies in my face, you know? So if I need some help passing, will you all help me? Yeah! Very good. I'm with you. I'll go over now and talk to Jer. Hi, Hi Mel. Jer. How are you, Jer? Okay, Mel. Hiya, knucklehead. Hiya, milkinhead. Oh, milkinhead. <laughs> hey, fellas, today's the day for my last initiation. Okay, Mel. Now listen, are you uh, sure that you're ready for it? Oh, boy, am I ready. Because I want to be a full-fledged member of the club. <laughs> well, Mel, huh? you will be a full-fledged member yeah. if you pass... The initiation today. Yes. Yeah. If he passes! If he passes! If he... Oh, you! Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Please, fellas, please. Huh? Now, look, Mel. This what? initiation yeah. is to see if you can walk a crooked line. Walk a crooked line? Yes, sir. Now, you see them dishes that's all piled up on those little chairs and boxes and tables and things? 
Yeah, I see them. Well, now, here's what you got to do, Milt. Yeah. You have got to pick up a tray full of dishes. Yeah. And you go over there, see? Yeah. And then you step over the starting string. Yeah. And you walk around through all of those tables and chairs. Yeah. Well, don't worry. I can do that. Oh, I'll just a minute, Milt. I, uh, I forgot to tell you. What? That you got to do it blindfolded. Yeah, blindfolded! Blindfolded? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Nobody could do that blindfolded. Well, gee whiz, you want to become a full-fledged member of the club, don't you? Yes. Don't you? Yes, I do. Well... I'll do it. Oh, well, Jerry, uh, you better tell him about the big plate over there. Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah. Look, Milt. Yeah. Now, you're allowed to knock down five dishes. Yes. Yeah. But you see that big plate that's on the end? Yeah. Yeah, well, that big plate there is attached with a string up to a bag of flour up there, you see? Flour? And if you knock over that last plate, the flour will all come down all over you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shall we do it to him, kid? <laughs> Uh, Mary Ellen. Yes, Jerry. Uh, would you please put the blindfold on right. Milt and take him over to the starting right. line? Yes. Oh, boy, hey, now, please remember, you promised to help me if I need help. Don't worry, Milt. Oh, boy, I hope Don't I worry, we'll it. help you. Oh, this is the last one. I'm yes. so excited. I can't this now. What? Okay, yes. you ready? That's good. Now, take the tray. What? Yeah. Take the tray. Mary yeah. Ellen, help him over to starting. Yeah. Oh, That's good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, Milt, you're on. Hey, help me take my knee. Jerry's initiation, huh? Well, I'm going to talk to him once and for all. Wait a minute, Winch. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. I finally passed my last initiation. I'm a full-fledged member now. Gee, that's right, Milt. God, congratulations. <laughs> oh, happy. Listen, what? There's one thing you got to have happen now. What? It's time for you to be sworn in. Sworn in. Sworn in. Sworn in. Hey, buddy. Mary Ellen. Come on over here, everyone. It's time for Milt to be sworn in for his membership. Yeah. All right, Jerry, go ahead. Okay, we will now start the ceremony. Yeah. Everyone, put on the official club hat. Oh, oh good. Thank you, Mary Ellen. There we are. Where's yours? Here's a hat. Here's a hat. Oh, That's here you are. Put that on. Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> okay? Yes, sir. Now, uh, Freddy, <laughs> would you turn out the lights, please? Right away. Good. Hey, Lynch. Yeah? Would you light the candles? Light the candles. Yes, indeed, Mr. President. There's one candle. Here, we. There's another candle. Okay? Okay. Mr. Delon? Yes? You have passed all of your initiations. Yes, sir. Would you kindly hand me your initiation card? Yes, sir. Here it is, sir. I now take the initiation card, yes. and I tear it into little bits. Yes. And I put it inside of this bowl. Would you? Would you put the candle to it? I certainly will, Mr. President. There we go. And there goes the initiation card. Milk, your initiation days are over. Hey! 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 And now, Milk, huh? now that you are a member, yeah. you've got to learn some of the secrets of the club. Yes, sir. Uh, watch the fire on the fire trap. Just take it easy, <laughs> now. Uh, Lynch? Yes, sir. Would you show <laughs> Milton the secret handshake of the club? I would be delighted, Mr. President. 
Excuse me, Mary Ellen. Yes, sir. No, Mr. Winchell. When one member of the Jerry Mahoney Club meets another member, yes, they sir. shake hands in a secret way. Yes. Here's the secret handshake. Yes. The two pinkies, yes. locked together. Lock Forget them. the other one. Lock the next two. Lock them. Forget that. And lock the thumb. And lock the thumb. Good luck, member. Thank you, sir. That's the secret yes. handshake. Hey, hey, hey. uh, That's the hand secret handshake. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> well, that's the secret handshake. Win. What? How do you unlock it? That's another secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. How do you... How do we get... Well, wait a minute. Maybe if I step over here... Yeah. No, 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 no. No, that's not right. Maybe no, me, if I step over... Yeah, maybe if you step over, that would... No, 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 no that's no... Oh, no, no, that's no good either. No, wait a minute. Look, keep your head down. Yeah. Maybe if I if I put my... There we are. Now, now it's unlocked. No, right? no, it's not unlocked no. yet. Wait a minute. Milt, no, uh, put your leg over your head. My leg over my head? Yeah, I, uh, get it up. Hey! Yeah, but... Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, that's not right. I got it. No, wait, 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 I got it. Huh? Stay just the way you are. Yeah. Hold that position. Huh? I'll come right through here. And it's unlocked. And we're out. <laughs> hey, Jerry, how do we get out of this? Well, come here and I'll show you. All right. Oh, my hands, you bird! Oh, my hands, Jerry, he's on fire! 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 Oh, my hands, Milton? Yes, sir. Now that you're a full-fledged member of the whole club, are you ready to take the pledge? Yes, Mr. President. Okay, raise your right hand. Now, Milt, as a member of the Jerry Mahoney Club, you promise that you'll try always to be a real good American and that you will obey all the rules of the club and always tell the truth and that you'll keep yourself healthy and clean and that you'll try always to help other people and be friends with all other kids no matter what their race or religion is, that you will always say your prayers and love our country. Milt, do you pledge that? I do. Okay. Then I now make you, by giving you this membership card, here you are, Milt. This makes you an official member of the Jerry Mahoney Club, and congratulations. What are you crying for? He's a member. <laughs> Yeah. After all those initiations I went through. Yeah, just the cards. That's all they do, just the cards. Just the cards? Just the cards. Just the cards. Oh, one other thing. Uh, Link. Excuse me, Mary Ellen. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Will you come with me for a minute? Just the cards. Get the pie. Okay. Get the ice cream. Oh, Get the cake. Okay, kids, this is it. Let him... ah! party we're having. You know, parties are always fun, and especially when you got plenty of delicious sippy roll candy. Hey, all of you boys and girls out there, better bring mom and dad to the TV set because they really should hear what I'm going to tell you. Come real close. Now, whenever you're planning a party or any social gathering, be sure to have plenty of sippy roll midges, the bite-sized sippy roll, so chocolatey and so chewy and so long-lasting. Sippy roll midges have that sippy roll taste that everyone loves. You can buy sippy roll midges in this convenient cellophane bag at your grocer's or supermarket. So handy to carry home. Or buy Tootsie Roll midges by the pound and always have enough around the house for friends or for the family. And for a whole assortment of delicious tasting Tootsie Roll candies, get Tootsie Roll Mix. And in Tootsie Roll Mix, you'll find all of your favorites. Creamy Tootsie Roll Fudge. Chewy Tootsie Roll Caramel. Chocolatey Tootsie Roll midges, And fruit-flavored hard candies. And don't forget, you can buy Tootsie Roll Midges and Tootsie Roll Mix by the pound at your 5 and 10 cent store. And whatever you do, always remember, nothing tastes better than a Tootsie Roll. Oh, goodbye, kids. See you next week at the same time. Goodbye, buddy. Bye, Paul. See you next week, kids. Come on, kids. Come on. See you next Saturday for another big meeting. Friends, friends, friends. Good. Love, play.